May I come in, sir? Yeah, please do. Ji, good afternoon. Take your seat. Thank you, sir. You're Sanjita, right? Yes, sir. Sanjita, I can see that you're basically from Odisha, Raud Kela. Yes, sir. I can also see that uh, you did your mechanical engineering in uh, year 2012. Yes, sir. Uh, that was from uh, College of Engineering and Technology in Odisha, Bhubaneswar. Yes, sir. 2012. Yes, sir. What are you doing since then? Sir, I was uh, posted as a manager in Rorkla Steel Plant, Steel Authority of India Limited. I was, worked uh, uh, there got... for five years, sir. Okay, then? Then uh, I always wanted to prepare for civil services by uh, doing the job and I was not able to do justice to my job. So I decided to quit the job finally and prepare for civil services. Oh, but you also mentioned that you got through the state civil services in 2017. Yes. No, 2017, sir, uh, I the result came out in 2018. Okay. So by the time the results came out, the mains exam was there of 2019. So My husband got transferred to Mumbai. So there was a lot of chaos which was going on then. So I decided to take leave from that. I have not joined. You have a not state joined, case. but you, you qualified. Yes, sir. I qualified. Which service did you get? Uh, I, I got administrative services. Uh, administrative services. And uh, when uh, when is the next batch? Uh, when you will be joining if you are not uh, through with the civil service? Sir, services I have here? to go back to talk because I had applied for extension twice. They had granted me twice. The third time they asked me to personally come down there to okay. visit and then only they will be provided. So, what is your um, uh, plan if uh, for some reason you are not able to go, uh, get through this uh, interview? Will you be joining Odisha Civil Services or not? For the time being, I'll not be joining the Odisha Civil Services because my husband is uh, transferred to Mumbai, Maharashtra for like 10 to 12 years now. So if I join the state PSC, I'll not be, I'll have to stay away from him for a very long time. So he... That rules out civil services to a large extent also. Uh, sir, in uh, state, uh, this UPSC, I have uh, not opted for Odisha as my home cadre. It doesn't matter. It's an AISL. It's All India Service Liability. You may end up being Andaman Nicobar. You may end up in being we, North East. Definitely, sir. But uh, growing up, becoming a collector, becoming IAS officer was what I always wanted to become. Becoming deputy collector is as important as becoming collector for that matter. So that will take quite a lot of time by the time I reach deputy collector in uh, Odisha state. So it's not that faster. And... Uh, in uh, Odisha, I always knew uh, somehow in, in this state, Odisha will, I'll be confined to Odisha actually in my state PSC and my husband cannot come back to Odisha for like 20 years now. By any transfers, so, he'll... I don't want to offend you, but it appears right now that it is too, it's getting too much uh, husband, too much family for a professional uh, civil servant to be talking about. Do you believe that you are capable of managing your family life and administration efficiently as required in the civil services? I am very honest here. So life is all about much of the uncertainty and I obviously cannot predict what kind of cadre I will get when I get into UPSC. So I am just trying out my options over here and uh, obviously… So civil services is too big an ambition to be actually playing a dice game. No, sir. These are the choices which I had with me. So, I made a choice of not taking my home carder. But if I get anywhere, because I just wanted to keep a work-life balance, which I thought if opting yes, for which this… Which is what I am saying there is missing. It's all life. It's all family. There is no work here. No, sir. <laughs> I, 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 I was just trying to find a balance in that. If it's not possible, at least I will be happy at my work front because I want to become an IS officer to become a collector. So, I, if I get IS and get posted in any place, I will try to manage that. Uh, and so if you don't get IS, uh, you have filled other choices in yes, incidentally. Yes, it's yes. not that you have not filled other choices. So, you have, you have filled police services, you have yes. filled other choices. What will you do if other central services are granted to you and you uh, are not? in position to join your husband in Maharashtra and it appears your husband has decided that whatever you want to do, do I will not be changing my place. Uh, no, that that is not the uh, position right now. But I am trying to pursue my dream, my aspiration which I wanted to since a very long time. So, In your opinion, can you name a few working women you know I mean, in the uh, in the public domain, which you believe has have, uh, have achieved this work life, uh, what you call it? Balance. Uh, balance, as you said, and you believe that uh, she is the one you would like to follow. Name one. 
I had uh, read about Rupa Mudgal, ma'am, IPS officer. She, her husband, uh, they, she shifted to a very small village, and then her children were also living with her. Her children had to attend a very small school over there, and she had to sit on the floor. But she managed it, and the family was all there together with her. So I think so somehow, so work-life balance is something I'm aspiring, I'm striving to do. If it doesn't happen. Uh, we, it's a chance which I'm trying to take that maybe I'll okay, be able to. Okay, you studied sociology and uh, the kind of uh, uncertainty uh, you see in your life has lot to do with the social construct of ours. Can you name a few social institution which has forced you into such a dilemma? Dilemma that in a house uh, the male is the bread earner, so the job he does he doesn't change the places. A woman adjusts to the places where he I'm is. I'm expecting sociological concept. Uh, the patriarchal mindset. One is patriarchy. Is what else? Patrilocal, where the husband stays, the okay, wife. Okay, the even. society is patrilocal. What else? What are the social institution that has been uh, playing, uh, making Sanjita what she is right now? Marriage. Marriage, marriage is social one institution of, the, of marriage. One of Very the institution good. is marriage. Family. That family has to stay together. Uh, there's a concept of uh, stay. Fine. Thank you. So. Sanjita, yes, you are sir. from Odisha. Yes, sir. What do you know about Black Pagoda? Black Pagoda is the Konark Temple uh, is known as Black Pagoda. Uh, the Britishers, when they came down to Odisha from very far, it looked as a Black Pagoda to them. So they named Konark Temple as Black Pagoda. Okay. Have you heard about Sub Pagoda also? Uh, sorry, sir. I cannot recall. Okay. What is difference between Marxism and Maoism? Marxism as a concept, uh, it basically focuses on how economic structure is the basic foundation on which a complete society is built and the superstructure which is there, it completely follows or evaluates what the economic structure is there. Maoism focuses on, I am not getting the idea clearly right now, I am sorry sir. I'm Next slides are also called Maoist. Yes. Do you know why? They follow the Mao ideology that there has to be collective ownership of the land. They have to have, the community has to have rights on the land, the forest, whichever they call their own resources. So. Okay, there are three uh, temple architecture style in India. Yes. One is Nagara, Besar and Dravidian yes, style. Sir. In Odisha, which style is prevalent? Uh, in Odisha, sir, Nagara style is uh, highly prevalent. Could you give uh, some examples of Nagara style temple? Sir, Lingaraj temple is a great example. Mukteshwar temple in Bhubaneswar is also a very good example. Sri Jagannath temple is one of the most biggest highlight of Nagara style. Konak temple is also a highlight of Nagara style. Sir. Okay. What are the features of Dravidian style of uh, Dravidian style architecture? Sir, Dravidian main features. Dravidian style architecture, the main uh, Garbhagriha is a very small room and then the Vimana which is made, it's a, like a uh, layered Vimana which has in a pyramidical uh, size. But in Nagara, it's a, in a conical shape and in Dravidian uh, culture, the, there is a very high Gopuram gateway which is built for the Dravida style. But in Nagara style, we do not have high gateways. The Garbhagriha or the main sanctorum is the highest uh, point in the uh, architecture and there is a very huge wall which is built around the Dravida style of architecture which is not found in Nagara style of architecture. Okay. What are your weaknesses being a lady? So, I'll, uh, being a lady, I will not be going into the gender aspect because uh, I don't think so the gender aspect has anything to do with that and that can be on both sides. Uh, I think uh, I am a bit workaholic at times which uh, affects um, many things in my life because I give too much of importance to when I start working on a specific project. And second is uh, I uh, fail to understand um, that the urgency which I have for one, the work is of priority to me, is of the same priority to the other person. So I try to push that, maybe that can be called a weakness. Thank you. Sanjita. You are from Odisha. Yes, sir. What is the status of women in Odisha? 
दे हैव बीन मेकिंग क्वाइट अ प्रोग्रेस बट स्टिल आई वुड से देर इज लॉट टू बी डन बिकॉज द फीमेल एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन ओडिसा इज लेबर पार्टिसिपेशन इज हार्डली ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड देर इज ह्यूज फेमिनाइजेशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन ओडिसा नियरली एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ पीपल इन ओडिसा स्टे इन रूरल एरियाज सो देर इज़ अ ह्यूज माइग्रेशन ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम द सदर्न डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ ओडिसा एंड दे हैव बीन डूइंग वेल इन एजुकेशन राइट नाउ बिकॉज द टेंथ बोर्ड स्टैंडर्ड एजुकेशन रिपोर्ट विच केम डाउन गर्ल्स हेड परफॉर्म बेटर दैन बॉयज सो दे आर प्रोग्रेसिंग बट स्टिल आई थिंक दर इज अ फार अप्रोच दट स्टिल देयर दे कैन डू okay despite uh, of the fact that odisha is one of the richest area in terms of mineral storage or mineral mining odisha has not attained is uh, its potential in terms of development economic development and social development what is your take on that what could be the reason for that the reason is the modernization process which we took up was very lopsided the we have around 20% of the mineral resources but the extraction process what we do is we directly try to export the minerals without much of value addition so the actual realization of price was quite low second is the rehabilitation and resettlement of the tribal people no, i want to know that when mineral is being transported to some other state why the industry could, uh, was not uh, established in the, that state uh, only because of the problem of the availability of land resources which was one Odisha of the Odisha is lacking in land resources No we have land resources but the there was too much of when the POSCO plant came down there was too much of agitation among the tribals among the locals because of which POSCO finally couldn't set up a plant So what make the people of Odisha to get agitated uh, against such kind of project which is for their own development so the problem is always a top down approach we always first decide and then we communicate the people should have been taken into consideration there has to be a proper dialogue to make people aware of all these things there was instant uh, they went on and they started uh, declaring this places will be taken up so the grievances of the people were not rightly addressed for which they came up in arms ag- against the government and they were not ready to give the land to but the but there is a uh, th- there are a lot of processes which involve the local people in decision making process one of those is eia that is environment mm-hmm. impact assessment yes sir what is it and uh, where an administrator plays a role in that process so environment impact assessment is an assessment which is made before any kind of venture or uh, industries or any establishment is established to find out what are its exact uh, impact which will be there on the s- uh, social and environment of the surrounding areas yes people concern or people involvement is one of the steps involved in uh, eia process yes sir then what is the problem why the people uh, why so people is not heard or Sir, not listen i think the involvement of people is there on paper only in actual realization uh, there is uh, there are sometimes which is hushed up and people are actually not involved in the complete governance process and they are not a part of it very few people very few leaders they get uh, to what is uh, disaster uh, governance uh, disaster governance is uh, is a process by which uh, there is a proper pre-planning of how to handle a disaster then having a plan for that then uh, risk mitigation and then uh, rehabilitating the whole people after the disaster has occurred and then a re-preparedness how odisha it. is leading uh, by setting an example in the process of disaster management in the country sir uh, this time in the funny cyclone which hit odisha we have evacuated everyone and okay. the casualty uh, was only what is the state bird of odisha blue jay sir what blue jay are you sure yes sir what is the ius in status of that bird uh, i am not sure okay. sir i just know sir. okay uh, sanjita yes sir uh, raurkela has a major steel plant of sale yes sir Uh, what do you know about the new national steel policy sir so the national steel policy aims to uh, increase the production of steel to around 300 million ton by the year 2030 and we want to increase the per capita consumption of steel of people to around 160 kg by 2030 do you have any idea about uh, the uh, the amount of production that we produce currently yes sir we, right now in 2018 19 it was around 110 million tons million tons yes, all right and what is the ranking of india in terms of steel production 
globally? Uh, uh, globally, it's second, sir. Second, okay. I think India recently pipped Japan. Yes, sir. Yes. It did. Is the steel sector one of the major contributors for non-performing assets, bad loans? Is it so? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Sir, it's finance is one of the biggest, it's a very capital intensive sector, steel sector. And steel demand is a cyclical demand. There was a huge downturn in the steel sector in 2014 to 16, where the prices of steel, steel went down very far. So the cost of production was very high. We incurred a huge loss, especially for sale. We took a huge loan from the market to expand our, there was a huge expansion plan. Because of this nature and there was the high borrowed cop capital has a high cost in India specifically. So because of all of this, there was the steel sector was, had so many of downturns in okay, the recent. All right. And why public sector banks are so uh, disproportionately affected in terms of bad loans? Because of the dealings, uh, they uh, usually the whole, around 80% of the economy uh, is dealt by the public sector banks and the farm loan waivers which took takes place, the cooperative banks, those all things, the bad loans pile up on the public sector units and the infrastructure projects which have a very huge gestational periods, they are usually financed by the public sector banks. So the non-performing assets have shoot right, up right. because of that. Can you please enumerate two or three most important regions towards this issue of bad loans? Only two or three most important ones? Reasons? Yes, reasons for bad loans. First is the uh, uh, stuck, uh, the issue of uh, getting a land in time. So this increases the time of uh, the uh, project which leads to rise of the second in the steel sector which I have seen the projects did not the project was to be completed by a time which was extended to a timeline of around five to six years this leads to rising of the debt in which a sale had taken from the market so completion of the project is another factor and there are many uh, uh, cases which are pending in supreme court and high courts which again add further to this rising bad loans all right and why do we import coal for steel sector even though we have abundant resources of coal? Sir, uh, the coal which is used in blast furnaces is coking coal. Coking the, coal coking, right. the coal which we have in India has high amount of sulphur which cannot be used in the blast furnaces. So that's why we have to import a good quality high grade iron ores from uh, coal from Australia. Right, right. You have a, a mechanical background. Uh, can you please uh, uh, explain uh, uh, that uh, are automobile companies ready for rollout of BS6 fuel all across the country? They are trying. Uh, the research and development is not at uh, completely at the but that. But we have a target from 1st of April. Yes. I am not sure about it, sir. Not sure, right. And what is the concentration of sulfur in BS6 fuel? I'm not able to recall now. Right. Sorry, sir. You know, uh, Oriya is a classical language? Yes, sir. What are the other classical languages in the country? Tamil, Malayalam, Kannad, and uh, Telugu. And Sanskrit? Sanskrit. Sorry, sir. Right. So, uh, you know, uh, it is also in the news that Marathi community yes, are sir. demanding uh, uh, classical status for Marathi language. What are the criteria to, to accord this status? First is the language has to be around 1500 years old. Mm -hmm. There has to be a complete discontinuation after a certain age of that complete language literature, the history of that language. Uh, the third criteria I am not able to recall. So there right. are three criteria. No so, yes, Sanjita. Recently, a World Trade Organization has given ruling against the India's export subsidies. Why it happened so? What are those export subsidies? India and China still yet uh, claim to be developing nations mm. and which is contested by US on many aspects that because they have uh, crossed a certain threshold in uh, exporting a particular item like in textiles, so they cannot claim the status of developing nations anymore. So that's why they are providing many incentives which is uh, uh, disproportionately affecting the price of the uh, commodities the which which is making them competitive so these in the are global like the world. basic reasons like you no know, for uh, negating the india's stand on the in the wto platform yes. right india already has like got opted out of the rcp yes sir what are those reasons which are affecting the india's decision 
this so, so far one of the basic uh, reasons which india opted uh, went out was uh, india they were wanting india to open up its market for the goods which has to come but the similar reciprocation india was not finding from all the other uh, sectors from all the other countries specifically in the service sector and uh, to uh, send the uh, personal working personnel australia was uh, not allowing uh, to give a open uh, more open market to india and we have a huge deficit with china we already have a free trade agreement with the, all the asian nations but we do not have a direct free trade agreement with china and this would have flooded did indian markets with cheap chinese right, goods right. so what is quad quad is an uh, association of four uh, nations uh, india japan uh, australia and us uh, which has been uh, formed to provide an open and prosperous pacific indo pacific do we do we have the 2 plus 2 mechanism with all quad four countries uh, i'm uh, sure about us and japan i am not sure about australia sir right Uh, in a recent judgment uh, supreme court in sabarimala case has come out to principles so the constitutional uh, morality and the essentiality of the religious practices what does this principle say constitutional morality refers to the morality which has been enshrined uh, when the constitution makers actually made the constitution what they thought is proper for a society to be followed and essential religious practices is uh, is confined to a particular religious domination uh, denomination that what they consider to be very essential for them to practice to uh, which fits into their religious uh, faith or belief do you think with this principle if uh, any particular religion is uh, you can say embedded with any mal religious mal practice don't you think so like the court there have a duty in terms of like you know, getting it uh, eradicated so that like you know the larger uh, people larger section of you know the people within the religious fold could enjoy or you know, you know like you know the more religious freedom and uh, get rid of you know those ill practices that will make the society as you being a sociology student so more healthy i couldn't i get so can uh, you please i beg your pardon sir. all right so let's move forward okay. uh in odisha i believe there had been a devdasi system in odisha temples yes sir so that is believed that like the girls before attaining their puberty they were supposed to uh, given to the temples yes sir this particular practice still uh, is being followed and observed in no, odisha temples no sir it is not followed it got any... abolished yes it got which abolished. particular act has got it abolished i don't know sir the act 1947 okay sir right thanks all right okay uh, sanjita yes sir you mentioned that you like to uh, you keen on exploring new places and uh, cuisines yes sir a uh, recently this corona virus was in news is in news actually yes sir and uh, it is said that one of the reason why it uh, got uh, i mean uh, infected so many people is that uh, it started with uh, uh, people uh, having uh, eaten unusual food uh, do you believe that this trying out new cuisines is a, a dangerous thing at times where you are not aware what the actual ingredients are so it is a bit dangerous so i always take a precaution to try out places which are well uh, i follow trip advisor any such uh, uh, places where i can get reviews about it and then uh, usually it's i do not uh, venture too much into uh, adventurism uh, yes okay sanjita um, uh, you also are a keen explorer as you said Can you just uh, uh, mention a few places you observed today while you were coming here? Uh today I I was in the cab so I was busy reading my notes so I couldn't take my head up to observe today. Can you mention few places which you passed on? I mean which you passed today through today while coming Yeah. Uh, we i noticed the gtb nagar metro station why crossed there before that i started from karol bag so after that i i saw gtb metro station so i have lost track in the mid sir okay so you're not that keen a observer as you mention here okay gtb metro station for that matter uh, the karol bag metro station was on your left side or the right gtb metro station was on my right side when i took a left turn over this side Okay Sanjeev that was nice talking to you Thank you can you, leave sir. now Thank you sir Thank you sir Thank you sir
आइए संजिता प्लीज टेक यू सीट थैंक यू सो संजिता हाउ लॉन्ग यू बीन इन दिल्ली सर फाइव डेज फाइव डेज एंड यू इंटेंड टू स्टे टिल योर इंटरव्यू नो सर यू बी गोइंग बैक ओके सो हाउ मेनी इंटरव्यूज यू हैव गिवन ऑलरेडी वन What's your take on this interview? What are the areas you believe that you're doing fine, and where you believe that you're not doing uh, that good? Uh, the first, uh, the question which you asked, uh, I knew that would be uh, the family and work-life balance that I have to improve on a way I'll present it so it does not look negative as you pointed out. So that I think, Bakri sir, you will. See, Sanjita, my reading is that you're a wonderful candidate. I mean, uh, unless you. Uh, and unless you are hell bent on spoiling your chances i don't see any reason why i mean you getting my point you you have answers for the most of the questions your uh, your uh, analysis is really good you you have such good strengths thank you but sir. i don't know why you are underplaying your strengths and underlining your weaknesses you getting my point mm -hmm. So if you look at the whole, my uh, request will be that look at the video very carefully. Okay, sir. There's hardly a question for which you don't have a good answer. There's hardly a question, but you are very tentatively starting the whole interview. You get my point? You are a very good candidate. Trust me. I mean, you have been working in a good PSU. Thereafter, you cleared a very important examination, right? Now you are appearing the civil services interview. you are not realizing the achievements you have already you already have this achieve these achievements should give some kind of a radiance radiance on your face rather than being a tentative look which you unnecessarily carry so the last interview i was said that you are over enthusiastic you smile a lot so tone it smiling, down that's uh, so i'm, I'm, not, I'm I not maybe have toned it down a lot <laughs> so i'm not worried about the smiles i'm not even saying that smile more that's not what i'm saying I'm merely saying that play on the strengths of your personality rather than the weaknesses. Okay, sir. Don't drive the boat to your weaknesses. Drive them to your strengths. Okay, sir. Okay, you get my point. Okay, See, uh, my understanding is that your entry is good, your voice level is good, flow is good, your vocabulary is strong. Uh, your hand movement is a problematic area that you'll have, you'll be working on, and uh, your eye contact is not the uh, best. right okay. about the eye contact you need to understand you are, you had been a manager you will be able to understand that if you are looking at me right and when i'm talking to you the whatever the information is being transmitted that is through words yes, but the trust building exercise is being done by the eyes right if you break eyes eye contact and mm -hmm. look elsewhere uh, you may or may not get their trust but you will be losing mine You getting my point? I'm I'm exactly not able to understand because they say when you're answering, you're supposed to look at everybody. No, no, that's okay. that's not the. I know there are schools of thought, and you'll have to uh, do a bit research to decide which one to follow. But I've been doing it for twenty years. I'm trying to. I'm explaining why it is important. Okay. If you're looking at me huh. and you're talking to me, there'll be a trust between you and me. Yes. If I'm looking there and talking to you, you will not have my. I will not have your trust. You yes. getting my point? Yes. Yes. So primarily you. have to look at the person you are talking to if possible in the eyes of the person a few glance here and there will not hurt okay sir. okay few okay. glance here and there will not hurt okay, but if you keep a rotating eye contact what mm -hmm. will happen you may or may not get their attention but you will be losing mine okay sir and what you will be losing is trust okay. what you will getting is merely attention okay sir you getting yes. and there's a difference qualitative difference difference between attention and the trust yes right yes i hope i made myself clear yes, you have to take a call but this is what i understand i've been doing it for 20 years i'm telling candidates and they generally are benefited by it one thing second is uh, again the that the initial part of it you need to uh, you i don't know why are you overplaying the family thing you have been okay. a wonderful working professional yes sir you were working in a very good psu as in a supervisory role so you acquired some skills there yes thereafter there is a very small break yes even in that break you have the uh, achievement of uh, cracking a state civil service examination which you are not saying you have dropped you are merely saying that you may join yes sir right yes you are likely to join yes sir. you don't even say may join say likely to join yes right yes and then you are appearing the civil service everything is in place why are you bringing a, whatever is your weaknesses in between yes you are not even lying you don't have to 
lie any uh, on any uh, anything of it you just merely think that you were working in a psu then you decided to get into the civil services for which you appeared in the state civil services and the central civil i mean the uh, upsc you cracked the state civil services with good rank you were awaiting uh, a position there and you have cracked the civil services everything is in place but i have not chosen odisha as my home state so that, that, that is, is that is a, the, the, that then it is, comes to, see that's a different question which what is your cadre choices hmm. there are many people who do not choose uh, the home cadre but for variety of reason in your case the simplest answer is now i am married hmm. my home cadre is based on my uh, mica and i'm choosing uh, i'm not choosing that because i i no more stay in the that place no, that that's I'll a, that's make a simple it crispy as chicken that's right. a simple they will not be grilling you much on this and even if they do they will not be reaching to your weaknesses which are unnecessarily uh, advertising i agree sir. you don't need to yes you get it yeah. i'm not even saying lie yeah right. i'm merely saying that put it in a way that you are playing to your strengths yes sir. right yes. that's the major concern i had otherwise you are doing most things absolutely right Okay. right on analysis issue make sure that uh, you are able to uh, you are able to put your uh, sensitivity mm. and analysis because these are your strengths uh, put forward rather than uh, letting it go factual though mm. your facts are also more or less correct right yes. okay sir these are the only things i need to uh, tell you i'm you're doing really well i'm sure you'll do wonders thank you right? so much sir any other area i need to touch which uh, when see state you uh, can do as much as you want yeah. both if you are uh, claiming uh, it to be maharashtra as well do study a bit maharashtra also, yes, right uh, odisha you have done we could not ask uh, questions on maharashtra and all because in an interview it is not possible okay, to uh, cover all uh, about this mechanical engineering thing i hope you have uh, done because you you've got a very good cgp also yes, which sir. is unusual Uh, I hope you able to defend uh, your mechanical engineering goals. That is somewhat. Okay, right? I'll try. Always. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much.